Okay, so the person that I beat up on the InfoWars article about the government shutdown responded, what's a better way to write an article? Which is kind of, um, it's a good question, and, and people know me. <laughs> I'm, semi, I'm semi-retarded on the high-spectrum scale. So, I, you know, I probably shouldn't answer, but I'm going to answer. Uh, well, he was saying what's a better way to write the article, and he re- referred to this one at, uh, before it's news. And I'll, I'll refer to that in the last part. But as you can see, this uh, the weird banner ads are over there where they launder the money into the fund the websites, which I don't talk about much, but I'll talk about it today. And... It's, uh, one of the reasons why I say the Patriot Network is sometimes like a cult is because things like that show up. Okay, so the article's by Susan Duclos and just talks about uh, FEMA and, and the shutdown. And that's that's kind of like putting the cart before the horse. Okay, so uh, I wrote back, I said, here's my opinion without referring to the article. I don't get paid for this. If I got paid, it's in the form of social activism and trying to fix a problem. If I wrote a story, which I may do later today, the first part is two million Americans will be directed, affected directly. The regenerative effect I discussed with Pat over to 21st Century Wire six months ago will take away the government's regenerative 50% taxes from the employee payrolls. Christmas time is here. Will these employees get Christmas presents? For us, 17 years ago, things were tight. How about food? And I, I didn't even have time to write in all the other stuff. Car payments, house payments, insurance, water, all that. The government employees who are furloughed, and some of them will have to work without pay. Uh, they won't have money to pay for all these things. And hopefully they have savings accounts, like my family does and did. But they may not. And I wrote, and who is to blame here to watch the talking points? Who is to blame? There are three bl- branches. Obama's blaming Congress for working against him to defund um, Obamacare which is essentially cut Obamacare's balls off. But Obamacare is pulling taxes today. It uses to get nothing but higher users get nothing but higher medical costs. Congress is blaming the Tea Party, taxed enough already. But is it fair to blame the working class, people like Payne's Court, who is who are struggling enough to pay taxes already because Congress can't make a budget. So in other words, the more Congress spends, the more we have to pay in taxes. Both the Congress and the President and the Senate are acting like five-year-old children. Why? Because they're blaming each other. So I got a quick video on that, and then then there's a follow-up for the article that the uh, British person posted. Okay, so here's Al Sharpton. He says, it's the Tea Party. The Tea Party's doing it. Today's Republican vote to defund Obamacare. What? I had to make fun of him when I watched it the first time. Today's the Republican Party the blame affair on the Tea Party, which dominantly controls the Republican Party. Uh, whatever. It's a clear sign of that the Tea Party now dominates the, the Republican Tea Party. Party. Sounds like a drunk. Did the Tea Party, get it's the so tea party shut the government down? One of the national parties. And what do they hope to gain by shutting down the government? Joining me now is Amy Kremer. Chairperson of the Tea Party Express, once a flight attendant with Delta Airlines. She got interested in politics and has been called the most influential person in the Tea Party movement. Well, I can't, I can't watch this because, as we all know, Congress is overspending. They're going to have to cut the budget somewhere. In my opinion, people say close all the overseas bases. I would say cut 85% of them and then cut all those really big projects with planes and missiles and stuff and put most of it into the Navy because that that'll give you the most buck for the dollar you can still have forces overseas with the Navy so you don't have the problem of putting people back in the US uh, Army bases and US Marine bases you can still keep forces overseas or move them around or just keep the ships overseas or or in different ports they could have a hundred ships in like 20 or 30 different ports in the United States they could have it all spread out they could put they could put ships in the Philippines. We have good relations with the Philippines. But they could they could sit down with the Department of Defense, cut their budget, and have a more effective military. But they won't do that because a large portion of the budget is getting people, uh, getting money to the military, the national, the, the uh, industrial complex, the, the 
United States industrial complex, military complex. Obama, he's blaming Obamacare. He doesn't. They're saying that one of the things they want to cut is Obamacare. Nobody really wants it. And it's an expensive program. They're saying, as we already know, it's going to cost 10 times more than they said. 17 years, Republicans in Congress chose to shut down the federal government. Let me be more specific. One faction of one party in one house of Congress in one branch of government shut down major parts of the government all because they didn't like one law. This Republican shut down... So, you know, as, as my tiny little two-paragraph sentence, which could almost be longer than the story the other guy wrote the other day, points to everybody's putting the blame on somebody else for something or another. And in, in the, the U.S. government, the three branches, everybody should shut, sit down and they should discuss how to make a budget and they should cut the budget so that the working classes which is always you know the more money the government spends the more taxes people pay but nobody you know it's they never talk about or are we being fair to the working class and they say the rich people pay the majority of the money the rich people don't pay the majority of the taxes it's 85 percent of the working class pay the taxes going it why because there's more people in the working class the the one percent are only one percent and some people got get it they go well they just hide their money which they do the the wealthy people hide their money and the working class wants to pay their taxes and then and then i got a little addendum at the bottom where i do refer to the article that the british person mentioned and i say now that i can say that i refer back to this news article this is the same infowars cult style article and that's why pat and art and i aren't part or welcome in the infowars cult cult it's the same article, but what you're looking here is the result of the news coming out of the InfoWars cult, which is Obama and possibly the Congress trying to manipulate the general public. Why? For the military-industrial complex and for the agenda of destroying the U.S. Constitution and U.S. law into reacting to, from the government shutdowns and declare martial law. Or is there a more sinister plan in the process, such as the U.S. going into total financial bankruptcy which would mean we, the U.S. would, and this is a hard word for me, and even though it's an easy one, we're talking about budget deficit default, where we wouldn't pay our money back to any of the countries that lent us to us. And we get stiffed all the time by countries like Africa, but the reason why the U.S. is the gold standard in the world and the reserve currency is because we always pay our budget deficits. So what what happens, and of course the article we, we land on before it's news.com, which looks an awful lot like an InfoWars website. And I, I'll have to DNS it later. Um, just a few things here. Antibiotics ordered by FEMA Region 3. MREs ordered by FEMA Region 3. Emergency water ordered for FEMA Region 3. And of course, the very important article which I linked this morning, which we go to, which is the U.S. Na the Navy blimp mapping Baltimore. Some of these I'll just have to do on the fly because it's too much content. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be on a new computer. And I, I referred this before. This is from Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Um... You know, I'm not real big on the fear-mongering articles, but it's likely that um, if the U.S. goes into deficit budget default, that um, the U.S. government will de declare martial law. And one of the the um, topics up for discussion over at um, as far as what they're voting on in Congress is. If you read the top, it says suspend the rule of law. So, you know, whatever they're talking about, don't focus so much on what they're talking about as much as what they're saying. Because they'll tell you what they're saying, like, right up front. So, you know, what happens if they sus what happens if the U.S. goes in the budget default? Will people get their retirement or Social Security checks? Will people get their welfare checks? You know, is that enough to cause 
uh, riots in cities like Baltimore, Los Angeles, or whatever? Or is there something else planned that we don't know about? You know, like w if we went into default with China, would China attack Baltimore? It's kind of silly, but you know, that's that's the type of stuff you're looking at.